this is a common problem. People think that the chat GPT interface is a little limited. It's really terrible to organize your chats. It's, it's kind of a pain. You can't search them. Some basic things, let alone if you want to do prompt chains, if you have specific cha like chains of prompts you want to do, or even have a prompt repository built into ChatGPT, not just your brand bot. Well, there's this extension that you can get on Chrome uh, Web Store. It's called, uh, it's the Superpower ChatGPT extension for Chrome. I've already installed it, but I have it disabled, and you'll see why in a moment. There's a reason, but I do turn it on sometimes. And so now I've enabled it. You've downloaded if you don't have it. And now when you return to the regular ChatGPT interface, you'll see a couple of changes. First of all, it's a little bit more like stuff going on here, but the reason is you can create custom profiles, which is nice. So you can actually have um, different versions. It's kind of like a simple little custom chat GPT that you can turn on or off. If you want to be like professional or if you want to be, you know, uh, more f just fun and light, whatever the case. It also has these interesting things that it can write in these styles. Uh, the tone and the styles and even uh, language, which is interesting. I haven't used that one. Other things that it has over here is you can search your conversations. It's a big deal. And you can also create folders, which is really nice. So it's a little bit like it kind of messes up the, the interface a little bit, but there's some good value. It can also do some things like prompt chains, which I said before, if you regularly use steps, pr like prompt steps, it's a little bit more advanced as well as uh, one or two other things like down here. It can you know, do some extra things. So it's definitely super powered. I'm going to turn it off for now just because um, it is kind of bulky and I want to show you on just the regular chat GPT. So to do that, you go into your extensions and then manage extensions. And then I just search for super power chat GPT and then I turn it off. Okay. And so then once you've done that, you can come back to this window, refresh, and it's now vanilla again. The nice thing is, is it keeps that info. So if you go back to Superpower GPT, the folders that you created are still there.